Hello friends, welcome to a video on dormant succulents. Succulents go dormant because of the adverse conditions in winter. I am Winston in London, welcome to my channel. If you look at this plant, shrub, there's not a single leaf on it at the moment. It's the middle of winter in London and left in the greenhouse to very cold temperature, it lost all its leaf. If you look at this other plant, it's the same plant that you saw before. Would you believe it? It's the way it looked in the middle of summer with nice green leaves and that beautiful flower. I decided to start dormant succulents with leafy kinds of cacti because they are very easy to demonstrate how quickly plants can change when placed in adverse conditions. These two plants you're looking at, one totally without any leaf and the other has still a few leaves. The difference is timing. If you leave a plant in very cold conditions, it will lose most of the leaves and sometimes if left in extreme frost, it may even die. You can salvage even dormancy by making sure you take them away from extreme situation of cold weather to reasonable. Most of these plants would survive between 10 to 15 degrees centigrade, about 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's look at another species of plants. These are aloes. Aloes are generally stronger to survive the adverse condition of dormancy. First of all, they react to cold by keeping their leaves and stems. If you look at the stems there, they're very much alive. But what they don't do is actually grow. It's important to keep them at a certain temperature. Generally speaking, I keep them above 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's say in centigrade, five, six, seven degrees centigrade is fine. If you look at this group of aloes, they're being grown outdoors when the weather is warm. Therefore, they survive very easily. Even if the temperature falls drastically to about, let's say, 50 Fahrenheit, they'll be fine. In this case, they've been grown in California. And very importantly, the temperature really goes to zero. So they'll do fine and won't have the problems like some of the plants that grow in the UK. The problem of keeping plants alive, even when they're dormant, tend to vary from plant to plant or plant species as such. The aloes are better at it than, let's say, the leafy parescia. Some plants are very good at it. Cacti, like opuntia, are even so good at it that you can leave them in the middle of winter in a snowfall and they'd be fine. Look at these opuntia which I grow at home. In winter, even outdoors in the cover area, they're fine. They may not grow a lot. They may put out a few bits and bobs, which means that they are getting ready for spring. But generally speaking, the stems are not affected by the cold weather. If you look at this collection of Opuntia growing 
in a habitat area, they are similar. They can stand extreme conditions of cold or even hot for that matter, and they are quite able to be ready for the spring when the weather warms up and they get ready to grow again. Opuntias and cylindro opuntias are the toughest kind of cacti around. They can almost stand every kind of weather. Dormancy is a piece of cake for them. They'll do it very easily and you will have no problems. One of my worst experiences with adverse conditions had to do with my Sanseveria. They couldn't take cold and I ended up with losing quite a lot of them. It's very important to try and understand that some plants are very tender and cannot stand even 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you get to understand that, you design the winter dormancy to match the plant. I will leave some further information at the bottom of the video which suggests certain temperatures which are suited to certain species of succulents. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.